Hi, in this video I will show you how you can nudge an object or element in Canva. So nudging is essentially like moving an object into the most appropriate position in your entire design. For example, I have this text box that says nudging and this is positioned at the top and slightly to the right side of my canvas right here. But of course, this is probably not the best way to put this text, especially if I want to draw attention right into this text. So I guess I'm going to put it in the middle. Now, to nudge an object, you have first uh, you have to select it first. If you have multiple objects, you can use this cursor or you can also use the shift key on the keyboard to select multiple objects to uh, later you can move them. Now I'm going to select this object and I'm going to click and then drag it to the middle. You see when I'm doing this, uh, there's going to be that vertical line that essentially it was a guide that is available in Canva and it's guiding you to put this design to be precisely in the middle of this canvas. And I can also I'll put it slightly to the bottom. You see this is exactly going to be the center, the very center of this canvas. This is the default guide that is available in Canva. But you can also put it to the either side of the canvas and you will see there is a square it's almost like a print plate i don't know what is this for but there is a tendency to put your entire design towards the center of this document so that, that's why we see this another rectangular in this design so that's the basic of nudging but if you have other elements in your design let's say i'm going to insert a circle let's put another color let's give this color the same and let's say i want to put this circle to be in relation with this text let's say i want to put it uh let's say in line with this text uh, i'm going to put it here i have multiple options i could put it here in the middle i could put it like right here so it's going to be at the top basically you will see the alignment here you will see there's an alignment there is a horizontal line and it really uh, depends on what objects nearby so it is very useful if you are working with multiple objects but there is also another feature in canva that allows you to add yet another guide if you want to so let me go to the file menu and click settings click add guides there are three options 12 columns three columns or three by three grids or you can also add your own custom guides but i'm going to select just three by three grids click add guides and now we have another guides in this document you see if i select this object and i move it to here uh, there's going to be an alignment uh, it's it's easy to notch the object to that specific area you can also move it here and move it somewhere else that has these lines it's very useful if you are working on a document with many objects so yeah i think that is really the basic of nudging there are many other customizations you can apply but that's how you can use the nudging feature in canva to make your design look pretty and also uh, draw people's attention right into the main content of your design in any case i hope you find this video helpful and i'll see you later